In this video, I'm going to show you how to block system updates on your Wii U. Now, if you homebrewed your Wii U and got this big red screen saying update folder still exists, you might be wondering if this is a serious issue, and no, it's not. Uh, updates are very sparse now that the Wii U is discontinued, however, uh, with the eShop closing soon, there may be an update associated with that, but otherwise, it's not a bad thing, and you'll still be able to do all the homebrew stuff that you want but it is still suggested that it is deleted. And the main reason is that system updates can actually patch the homebrew software like it did with Haxachi on the previous update for 5.5.6. And in the future, they're uh, very soon going to be discontinuing the eShop, so there may be an update associated with that, and we don't want our Tiramisu or Aroma to break. So follow along and let's delete the update folder together. Click the link down below and you'll go to this GitHub page for UF, UFDyne? UFDyne, we'll call it that. I'm not sure how it's supposed to be said, but Gary created this, um, so we're just gonna download this app. And you need WinRAR or 7-Zip or some sort of extraction software to extract it. But once you've downloaded it, just open up your Wii U SD card. This is what mine looks like here. Open up that UFDyne uh, WinRAR file and it should just be this Wii U folder so just drag that onto the root of your SD card should be pretty quick and then go to double check Wii U apps and then you should see UFDyne right there open it up you should have these files right here it has an RPX so I think it works for Aroma as well but I can't guarantee that I'm not I haven't tried it but once you have that on your SD card, you're ready to take it out of your computer and throw it in your Wii U. I'll meet you there. And once you're over on your Wii U and you're running your custom firmware, I'm using Tiramisu, just go into your homebrew launcher. Mine is the Mi Maker. So load it up. And then when your apps load, we're looking for UFDyne, the one we just added. So it's all the way at the end. So update folder deleter. Just load it up. It should be pretty simple. You'll get this, update folder exists, press A to delete the update folder, and that's it. So just press A. You might have to do this on the gamepad. Yep, yep, I just pressed it on the gamepad. My Wii remote did not work. So update folder is deleted. Press A to create the update folder. So if you ever wanna recreate the update folder uh, for the future, you just do the same thing and create the update folder through this app. And then press home to exit. And that is literally it. All you do is load the app and press A on your gamepad. That's all you need to do to delete the update folder. And this will stop any updates from automatically happening on your Wii U, therefore protecting your homebrew software from getting patched. But if you found this helpful, please, please leave a like and uh, let me know if you ran into any issues, but uh, I will see you on the next one. Take care.